Hello and welcome back to Paul's Beer Reviews. I'm back. I've finally managed to get my ass sat down in this room with a few beers lined up and we're going to review a couple. And I'm going to start off with a New England IPA because I haven't reviewed an outright New England IPA in what feels like ages. And this is one from a, a new brewery to me. They're called Missing Link. They're from Sussex. And this is a can of their Capuchin. New England IPA coming in at 6.8% ABV. Really like the artwork, the branding. All their cans look the same. I ordered uh, a taster pack off of them. And uh, they gave me a variety of their beers. All the same branding on all of them. That's their New Zealand Pilsner. And I've also got a Wit beer. So it's black and white. That one was the black and silver. I've already drunk a few of them. And they are so far very, very nice. So, uh, but yes. I wanted to save this one because I really fancy a big New England IPA and it's 6.8%. It is quite a big one. 440 mil can, silver can, nice black wrap. I say I really do like the artwork. All their beers are kind of named after different monkeys, primates, apes. And this is the capuchin, which is the small uh, sort of white faced monkey. You get them in a lot of films and things. Um, what's he say about this beer? They don't have much in the way of flavor text. A lot more of the branding on the other side of the can. Monkey, monkey, monkeys. Um, but it does say it's got water, barley, oats, hops and yeast. Uh, Maris Otter, pale oats and carapils are in the malt bill. Uh, it's been hopped with Azaka, Citra, Mosaic and Simcoe. So the usual suspects and a London Ale 3 yeast strain has gone into this one. Um, so yeah, um, it's a little doodah there. So if you wanted to, whether that will focus or not, I do know. If you wanted to scan that, get some more information on these guys. But so far, these beers have been lovely. So let's get this New England IPA out of its can, into a glass. Let's see if it's any good, because I am right in the mood for an IPA. Here's the port, 6.8%, and that is certainly already a very thick-looking, juicy-looking, hazy New England IPA. Feeling there might be one or two floaters in this one. I might be wrong. Boom. I might just leave it that way, that's awesome. <laughs> Great artwork, I do like the branding. Um, but yeah, let me give this a dink. That is a big, juicy looking New England IPA if ever I saw one. And it's hanging on to a one finger, really tightly compact creamy looking white head, pale, more orangey, the light shining on me, it's more of an orangey colour from this side, more of a kind of a gold yellowy colour on your side, it kind of looks like hot custard doesn't it really, looks terrific, let's get me snouting, oh, lovely, peachy, it is like a peach and apricot yoghurt aroma, It smells juicy, orange, pineapple. Mmm, such a mango. It's really making my mouth water. Let's get stuck in, shall we? Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Really juicy. Really thirst quenching. Really nicely hopped. It's quite sticky. <laughs> I need a glass of water. Um, it's really clinging to my palate. The malt bill on it is quite considerable. You can tell that definitely oats got into it. It feels quite thick. It's quite creamy, really clings to the palate. It's juicy, fruity. No real bitterness at the back end to speak of. Mm. But the first thing you notice is that body, the mouthfeel. The malts really do play quite a large part in this beer. Really coats the palate, and then just as you're, it's almost, it's almost creamy. It really is quite thick. And then once your palate kind of gets used to that then the hops come in and initially it's kind of orange pineapple mm. 
orange, a pineapple, a touch of grapefruit, a touch of mango. It's peach, a touch of apricot, stone fruit, tropical fruit, nicely balanced. And that smooth, creamy body just helps them kind of wash around the palate. It's very, very good. Um, it's 6.8. I wouldn't say it drinks like a 6.8. It's very easy drinking. It's going down very, very quickly. Um, there wasn't really anything in the way of sediment or anything floating around in that, which I was quite surprised about because as soon as I started pouring it, I thought, that looks juicy. That looks really juicy. They haven't done anything in the way of filtering. I thought there'd be a few floaters in that, but no, not on this one. Mm. That is a very, very well made New England IPA. That's exactly what it should do. No bitterness really to speak of at the back end. It's soft, it's juicy, it's refreshing. It is the quintessential New England IPA. And that's why it is probably the most approachable, the most popular style in craft beer still. I know a lot of people do say that uh, they're sick of New England IPAs and to be honest, they, they have been done a lot over the last few years but when you don't have one for a while i don't know about you guys at home but when you haven't had a new england ipa for a while i, I do find myself craving one i do find myself wanting one after a while and this is certainly quenched the thirst cure the hankering cure the hankering for an ipa and this is a very very good one it's ticked all the boxes mm. I do love that, that combination of the hops and the malt. It's really been brewed very well. It sounds obvious, right? A combination of hops and malt. It's like, yeah, <laughs> they go in all beers, Paul. It's like, yeah, but it, this has been done perfectly. You get all the elements on the mouthfeel from the malt and you get all the elements of the flavour, the juiciness, the refreshing, slightly citrusy edge that really quenches your thirst when you get all that from the hops. It's a very, very well made New England IPA. And it's gone. And like I say, it certainly doesn't drink like a 6.8%. I'll tell you now, if you told me that was a 6% bang on, I'd probably agree with you. It's definitely not a kind of like a five and a half. It's, it's definitely a 6% upwards, but 6.8 seems quite strong. But that is gorgeous. Lovely beer. Missing Link Brewery, check them out. They do a taster pack, you get six different beers, like 20 quid, really good value. Um, New England IPA, 6.8%, wicked branding, just look for the monkey, look for the monkey. Great beer, chuff it out. Um, I've got no complaints. In terms of a New England IPA, um, it does everything I want it to do. Um, it's from a brewery that I hadn't had anything from before until I ordered this box. I'm very impressed. And as a result, I will be checking them out and keeping an eye on them and getting some more because I think they're fantastic at what they're doing. Missing Link Brewery, check them out. Um, so I did. It's a 10 out of 10. That's a really, really good New England IPA. 10 out of 10 for me. It's good to be back with a good one. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. I do appreciate that. Until my next one, you take care.